What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while now, you know that this house, we try to make it as smart as possible. We've done tons of things to make this a smart home. And today we've got something special. We've got quite a few products from our friends over at SwitchBot. Now, the idea here is to further upgrade our smart home and turn some of the not so smart things into smart things. So huge shout out to SwitchBot for sponsoring today's video. Now you might be wondering, how are we gonna turn things that aren't smart into smart things? Well, we've got tons of gadgets here to do that. And now you might be wondering what kind of things are we gonna change? I'm talking about light switches, curtains, you guys will see. All right guys, so now we're gonna grab these gadgets, find a spot that we wanna use them around the house, and let's see how they actually work. All right, so the biggest thing that we've got here is the SwitchBot curtain. So that's these guys over here. So obviously these are here to automate curtains. Uh, we actually have some in our kitchen. We're always opening and closing these to let in some light into the kitchen. So I figured this would be a really good spot to try these out. And I've dealt with my fair share of like motorized curtains in the past. If you guys remember the old gamers paradise, we had some motorized shades over there. Uh, these are a bit different since we already have curtains. Uh, so we're gonna just be making these motorized. It's not a whole brand new curtain or shade set. Uh, this should work with what we already have. And that's the cool thing about the SwitchBot curtain is that it's retrofitted to work with pretty much any curtains you may already have. Uh, so it works with different rod types. Uh, we have a round rod over here. So I think we should be good. They say that you can install this in like 30 seconds. So that's a big claim. We're gonna, we're gonna try that out. I feel like we gotta have a timer. <laughs> All right, no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so we got a few things inside of the box. This is the SwitchBot curtain. So this is pretty much it. So it's adjustable so that it can, I guess, sit on the rods the way you need it to. All right, so with everything out of the box, we've got a few things here so that we can go ahead and set it up. I'm gonna take a quick look at the manual since I've never used a product like this before. So I'm gonna take a quick look and we'll see if that 30 second claim actually holds up. All right, mm -hmm. Carl, yeah. I want you to mentally count. I think it's more fun if I count on the No, we'll do it on our <laughs> iPhones. <laughs> All right, so let's get a clock going. I'm gonna use my seat. Don't tell Ari I'm about to step on our chairs. <laughs> Off my shoes before she kills me. Okay. Carl, nobody asked you. <laughs> oh, I'm a few inches taller than Jenna. I'm gonna reach. Let's do this. So I pretty much just take this. Is that it? I think I'm done. And what's crazy is that it takes 30 seconds, but that's with no nuts or bolts, no extra pieces, just the device itself. Let me put it in pairing mode. All right, cool. So we're calibrating. All right, let's see if we can move it to the left. Oh. What? Oh. Okay, hold on. That's legitimately cool. That took nothing. That was really easy. Now, the only thing is we got these double rods. So I got to figure out how to make it grab both of these. I think there's something, I'm, I'm sure there's something I could do, but it did that, it did the one that it's attached to in like no time. All right, so this is kind of crazy. Cause like, I think, I think that's it. We got the curtain over here. And if I want to fully open it, and it's open. Now, I actually really like this because you guys can see we've got like two different curtains here, uh, one up front and one in the back, and we like to have the one in the back show a bit. And I'm always adjusting it so that the curtains are exactly where I want them to be. Uh, and now I don't have to fiddle with it because it's calibrated to go exactly where I want it to. That's perfect. So now, since I did one side, I guess I'll do the other, and then maybe I'll figure out how to get the one in the back to work. Huh? What is this? So this is the SwitchBot curtain, Ari. Thanks for asking. <laughs> this is actually gonna automate. Let me, let me show you what it does. This is perfect. We got a live demo, you guys. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Right? And we can actually hook this up with like voice assistance so that we can have like Alexa or Google open it up whenever that's we want. Good. You just do that 
Who invited her? Okay, so we just added some of these clips that came in the packaging for the curtains behind the actual rod. All right, so let's give this a shot now. Have this open up. Okay. We got the back curtain going too. Boom. All right. So they're set up. I, this works really well, actually. Now you might be wondering, this thing going back and forth, what about the battery life, right? Well, it does have a rechargeable battery, but something that's cool that they make is it comes with this solar panel. So you can actually attach this to the curtain in a spot that's not gonna be really shown. And you can have this USB cable feed right into the switch bot and then it'll always get charged. Since it's at a window, it'll perpetually be charged. This is definitely a cool add-on, so you never have to worry about the battery dying on this thing ever. So what's cool is that you can do a bunch of different things. You can set scenes, so at certain times of the day, you can have these things just going. And it even looks like it has like a light sensing mode, so that I guess it can detect the light and open or close, depending on what kind of situation it is. Uh, mine wouldn't be able to do that because mine are so high up. Uh, there's no sun hitting those, those are completely hidden. Uh, but it's cool to have that feature nonetheless. Now another cool feature that this has is if it feels like you're touching it to move it, it'll do the rest. So all you gotta do is give it a little tug, it does the rest, that's a nice little touch. Uh, but for me it's all about the voice assistance, that's what I wanna get set up. Now what I will need to do, we do have a hub uh, the hub is going to allow this to be able to work over the internet. Right now, it's connected through Bluetooth. I'm gonna get the hub set up so that we can add a bunch of other devices to it and be able to use all of these over the internet and use voice assistance. But this so far, this is a win. Okay, so we got the hub mini over here. This is what's gonna be able to communicate with all the different switch bots. Um, I'm gonna set this up, put it in a central location, and then I'm gonna try out some of the other things. All right, y'all, so the next thing I'm gonna try out is the SwitchBot bot, which is basically gonna be able to hit like light switches that we have, like, you see those over there, the normal light switches? This thing is supposed to be able to tap it for you. Now, I actually like this idea. In the man cave, most of the lights are smart, except for a few, like the home theater and just this hallway light. Uh, if I can get this to be smart as well, that could be really cool. So this light, that's exactly what I want to hit. Let's turn this light on, boom. Alrighty, let's, let's read some instructions and then see how we do it. It should be pretty simple. Okay, so let me pair it up with the app. All right, so let's see. All right, so we got a couple stickers. How does this work? We just go, oh, so this goes here. All right, peel this off. <laughs> All right, I think I think that's it. Okay, off. Oh, oh shoot. Wait, so let me do that again. Hold on, Joe. Uh. I gotta inverse this. Oh. <laughs> okay, that is cool. Hey. Oh. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, Austin's here. Hold on. Austin, oh, come here, buddy. Time. Come here, you wild child. Yeah, my guy. Look, look what we just did. We just made this switch smart, Austin. Yeah, you like it? You wanna see how it works? Oh, lights off. Lights on. You like that? Yeah, he likes that. Okay, this was a lot simpler than I thought, Jay. I was trying to figure out, like, how are we gonna make this work? Yeah, I was thinking about the, you can, you can turn it off, if I can turn it Yeah, off. how do you turn it back on, right? You yeah. just add the extra sticker. Yeah, uh, yeah it's genius. All right, Let's birthday, go. all right, birthday boy, go birthday ahead. Birthday boy, birthday boy. Now, what we need is a motion sensor to just kind of go off. Like, if we get a motion sensor, so when we come in, hey, there we go. Oh, We're gonna make it work. Don't try and kick me out of my own house now. I'm here a lot of weeks. <laughs> All right, guys, so now this is probably one of the easiest things to set up. I got the SwitchBot meter. Now, this is gonna be super clutch for us because this is basically a thermometer and it also lets you know the humidity in the room. So you can see that information right from here. Now, this might sound boring, but if you're a parent like I am, uh, this is actually super clutch. So Austin, of course, sleeps here at night, and 
Ari is always a little bit concerned with the temperature in the room. Uh, we have all the different baby monitors and sensors that also give temperatures, but a lot of the times the temperature doesn't really match between all of the devices that can sense it. So to have a dedicated thermometer in here that also speaks to our phone to let us know exactly what the temperature is, is gonna be huge. Now what's also cool about this is that it can give you alerts in certain temperature changes. So if it drops to a place or it goes up to a place we're not comfortable with, uh, we'll get an alert on our phone and Ari can, you know, adjust the temperature accordingly. This is surprisingly huge for us. If Ari didn't just take Austin out, uh, she'd be going crazy for this. So this is something we're gonna be keeping right here, especially when we do our bedtime routine, we're gonna be able to just go ahead, look at it like, okay, temperature is good in here, set Austin down and then go about our business. So I'm very happy about that. And I love the fact that I can check the temperature from my phone and even get data based on, you know, what the temperature was throughout the night and stuff like that. So huge. Now, another simple addition here is this smart humidifier. Now, this is also one of those nice additions uh, for Austin's nursery because we had a humidifier here before, but it wasn't smart. I wouldn't be able to go into an app, turn it on or off. Uh, this, I'll be able to do that. And it also has a little spot here if I wanna add any oils. So if I wanna do like a peppermint oil, maybe something to like help with any congestion he might have. I can throw that in there, but it's nice to just be able to go onto the app and control it. I can turn it on or off from here. And I can even go ahead and set the amount of mist that I want to come out of here. If I want it to go all the way to three, which is the highest level, I can get a lot more mist. So this is also a huge addition here, uh, but I just love the fact that SwitchBot has like all these different things that weren't necessarily smart before, like the humidifier, being able to hit physical switches, being able to take like curtains and move them. Oh, you guys see how we got this all blacked out? If, you, if you're wondering about that, we make sure no sunlight comes in during the night. Nothing wakes him up before he needs to. Uh, so yeah, if you're curious about that, that's what's going on. But anyway, it's cool that SwitchBot makes all these different things. Like for me, I'm kind of blown by the curtains and the light switch. Those are huge. And you're able to put those pretty much in any home and take advantage of it. And they're not expensive. I'll have them all linked down below in the description for you guys to check out. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed this. You'll probably be seeing some of the things that we talked about in those other tours that we have coming up for the smart home. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely make sure you're subscribed and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. Favorite thing, Jay, go. The the switch box. The switch box. The light switch. Uh -huh. Carl? Uh, curtains. Curtains, of course.